Hi guys, welcome back to Mabel's Milk. If you are new here, my name is Kelsey, and this lovely lady behind me is Miss Mabel. Um, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, um, we are in milk. So Mabel had her calf almost a week ago. Obviously, I wanted to film it for you guys, but I came out to check on her, and there was just a calf standing next to her. That's how it went, guys. <laughs> And I, with her being a Jersey heifer, I was not sure. She was bred to a Jersey bull, but I just wasn't sure how it was going to go with her being a heifer, if she would need assistance or anything. And this girl was a rock star, and I couldn't be more proud of her. So, um, wasn't able to film that, but that's okay. I do have a couple other videos that I want to show you guys, but they'll just come out after. Um, so, anyways, um, I wanted to give my honest thoughts uh, with this being like my first week of milking um if you guys didn't know we have a cow calf operation so i've milked a couple cows not really just like trying to get colostrum um when they're in the chute and stuff um but this was like my first full like milking a cow and i wish i would have filmed the first couple days actually i don't wish i would have because it was just so stressful um Finally, here we are on Saturday, so Monday would have been a, will be a week that I've been milking, and I think it took me a good three days to, like, settle in and not be stressed anymore about milking her. Um, the first day, you know, you're not really, like, you don't have a time limit, but you do have a time limit, and so that was just kind of weighing on me the whole time, and then not knowing how to milk. That's the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about. Is I feel like you could watch all the videos. Um, you can watch all the videos on YouTube and figure out a technique on how to milk, but that does not prepare you for like actually being there milking your cow, having your cow's teats and stuff. It was just a lot, and um, that first milking took me an hour to milk her, which I would say is good uh, for first time, and since then I've cut it down a little bit, but it's still the whole chore of coming out to milk takes me about an hour. So, um, yeah, but, uh, I guess that, that's the biggest thing that I want, like, new people to know with hand milking is that, um, yeah, nothing can prepare you for your first time milking, and it's going to be okay. You're going to feel better by the end of the first week, but it's still just very stressful. Um, what was another thing that I wanted to share with you guys? Uh, we are calf sharing, and if you guys haven't seen my other videos, go check them out or subscribe, but Mabel is a heifer, and, um, just another thing that I want to share was, I, I feel like for this being our first family milk cow, that is the way to go. So, with her being a heifer, she's not going to produce as much milk as a, like, an established cow. And I love that. I love that. Because it takes off the stress of me, like, not milking her out to get mastitis. Um, so, mastitis is, like, where you don't, the cleanliness, but then also, um, if you don't get them milked out all the way. And with her, I'm getting about a gallon a day. And um, we are calf sharing, so I put her little bull calf in with her. And that just kind of takes away the stress of if I feel like I didn't get everything, then it's okay. He'll take care of it. <laughs> um, because production isn't our number one goal. Just having milk for our family is. And I am totally fine with a gallon a day for our family. Um, but yeah, it, it's just, it's a learning curve. <laughs> and it's it's gone well so far. I would say the biggest thing is um, me trying to set a good schedule and getting up at a good time. Um, we're just, with the rest of our farming operation, we're just exhausted right now. Um, and just because we run all day. So don't get to bed at a good time. So then trying to get up before the kids to get out to milk is, um, is hard. And so today's Saturday, so I kind of slept on a little bit. But we put Gus and Mabel both in the barn together, and so he got most of the milk. So I think I got, like, I don't know, I don't know, not very much at all. So that's fine. Uh, it shortens down this chore for me for the day, and, uh, you know, I wanted the cream and the milk, but 
there will be more tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I would say that all in all, calf sharing it right now is going well for us, and um, having family milk cow is going well. Um, it is winter. I want to give you guys a tour of the barn and stuff. Um, right now, our barn does not have two doors on it. It just has one, so it just stays open <laughs> like this. And so, uh, as we get deeper into a Kansas winter, we'll see how that goes. We're out of the wind, at least, so that's nice. But, yeah, it's going to get little, a little cold here. Probably not going to rebreed her to um, cabin in the winter for both of our sakes. But, yeah, I, I'll keep this video. I'll uh, end it here. But I just wanted to give you guys my honest thoughts about um, hand milking the first week and how it's going. And if you guys have videos that you want to see, I know a lot of people want to see, like, the technique of hand milking. Um, uh, Mabel, with her being a Jersey heifer, she has very short teeth in the back and kind of in the front. So um, I feel like my video on that will definitely help some people. Um, what other videos? I want to show you a video of the barn, how I have it kind of set up. Calf Sherry to explain that to you guys and show you what we are doing see if it can help anybody in your decision with um, getting a family milk cow um, with it providing you a little bit of flexibility in milking. So anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm so excited to take you guys along on this um, adventure. I love seeing your guys' comments um, on the videos. Just I feel like if you if you want a family milk cow, you're you just, you know, a type of person that you just I don't know. You got a good heart. And so I just love you guys being here and love um, love your support. So, okay. We will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for being here and supporting Mabel's Mill. Okay. Bye, guys.